What's going on, guys? Happy Saturday. We got our Big 12 ACU Spartans logo and color reveal for the winner, but we got something to tell you guys. We can't truly decide a true winner here. Yes, so what we have here is your logo, one. Congratulations, you beat me. <laughs> so yep. the problem is that we have, so going by the rules that we established, we would crown blue the winner, but the problem that we were having was the orange vote, orange color won the overall vote. For right. if, you, if, you're, if you're going by color. And we could tell that the the passion was all on the orange side. So we're thinking what we're gonna do is have you guys pick between, so your logo, orange versus blue, mano a mano, straight up. Yep. So Right, so if you guys look at the percentages here, only 75 people voted, 33% came, as you guys can see in the purple pie section there, 33% voted for logo design number two, but they liked the orange. Now, if we look at my logo in the red, here 14.7. Overall, everybody liked my logo better. 30% plus the 14, that's 44, plus the 9% in the yellow, that was for purple of the logo. So that would be what? 44 and 9, that's 53, 53%. Right, so it was very, it was my very logo close. the most. But we don't know if that's because the blue logo was shown first and the you guys just thought that the orange logo for you, the, the uh, jersey design was too cool that you didn't even see my logo in it. Well, so there was like some, there was uh, some voting like chance and maybe some misreading on the voter part. So what we're gonna do is like you said, just vote on my logo. That's the bottom two logos on the left and the right. We're gonna square it off between the orange jersey and the blue jerseys. Right, and I think well, when I recolored your orange, it might have come across as a little choppy as well. And we'll, we'll fix that because I, I went into Photoshop and I just, I was using paint bucket, you know, to flip the colors around. Right. So like, well, we're going to, once we figure out who wins, we're going to clean it up as well. And so I think it'll look better. But so I mean, because it's hard to say because the people that voted for my orange, they really like the orange color on the uniform. Right. Know? And you had a lot of people like your logo with orange in it. So right. you want to give the orange people, this is like your last, this is the last chance for the orange people. Well, look at the orange votes. 33% plus 14, that's 47%. Yeah, so I mean, they, won the, they won the color vote. They won the color vote, but my logo won the logo vote. Right. So we're, ta we're basically taking the majority of each and combining it and saying, okay, my logo is the winner but we're not just gonna automatically crown blue the champion. We're gonna allow the orange people to have a say. Maybe even the purple people to have a say as well in who they like, but. Yeah. So we've got actually some gameplay, some like practice against each other. You know, the Spartans against the Spartans. And then uh, we'll show you guys that. We do have the rosters completed for those. You guys can see that actually on the screen right now. And we've got Robert Bishop as the starting quarterback, A Money Stoudemire as the backup QB, the sprinter. How would you say that? Vajagic? I think Vajagic. Vajagic. I could be wrong, though. And then we've got the running backs here Kevin McCoy, Nick Reed Jr., Leonard David, Aaron Penner. So you guys can see this, but I, I guess we'll just fill this in with some, some talking, some commentary. Yeah. But. Um, you guys can see the rosters that we made out. Um, these are obviously sub subbing in. We don't have any 40 overalls right now. Right. Boris Beef, uh, this roster template only have one fullback. So I'm turning Boris Beef into a two-way player. But here's the problem. I forgot to fix his blocking ratings. So he's really bad listed at fullback. So I'm going to go fix that. Yeah. But we do have a... Um, a few players that 
we could not fit on here. So Emeka Kisembo, Jim Leaf, I think Isaiah Sawate. Isaiah Sawate. Rafer Vincent, Xavier Smith, and Ben Shinoski. Because we only have one kicker on the template. Right. So we'll figure out what to do with those guys. We took uh, Tyreek Wyrick Dysert, and he's a two-way player as well. There are some guys that we had like an emotional attachment to because Wyrick Dysert was one of those guys who just liked that name. And then uh, there was another another guy, Cedric Granger, obviously. Um, oh, Ian yeah. Fleischman. Fleischman Big Mac. Right there. Okay. Big E McKenzie, his name is. So he'll go by Big Mac <laughs> in when we call games. So. Oh, yeah, because that, that was his requested name. Right? Yeah. But yeah, so we filled out all your guys' requests. So like you said, some people just didn't make it. Uh, if if you don't see your guy in here, don't take offense to it. It's just we didn't have any room, and we pretty much did it from first come, first serve. And then if there were guys, that, like two or three guys that we had an, an attachment to that we just felt like we needed to have in this team, we put them in there. So if your guy didn't get in, post them in the comments below, and then we will make recruits out of those people. Now, for you guys that have won the college pick'em, the bowl pick'em, you'll have your choice of having your guy go to any of the other 11 teams. Right. That's if your guy didn't go to the ACU Spartans. Yep. So, just know that, and then we'll uh, we'll have another. We'll we'll, ha we'll save that for the introduction video. But uh, you know, we tried our best. Get everybody in. Right. And I think we did a pretty bang up job on it. This team is actually rated overall what 97. I think so. 99 yeah, I offense. I was gonna say yeah. The people that did get left out, we, you know, the position was filled up. So I mean, right. I could have like stuck them at cornerback or linebacker or something, but I didn't want to do that. So that's where all the other guys are filling in from. So Billy Joe Hops made it. Yeah, Billy Joe Hops. It's a throwback, a little bit of a throwback. Yeah. Bill Stevens, Price Greer, Todd Parker, Churchwell. I did not see that name anywhere. It's in there. Okay. Freeman Churchwell, middle linebacker. Thor Catale, Jelani Lewis, Buster Payne. Love that name. Yeah. Armand Hammer. Fun fact about Armand Hammer. That was the name of the guy that bought the Arm & Hammer company. And he, ah. he actually didn't found it. He bought it because it resembled his name. I wonder so. if the subscriber who said that, I wonder if he knew, we're talking to you now. I, I don't want to say the subscriber. Did you know that? Did you know that? I, I'm not, yeah, who knows? Probably did. <laughs> That's a funny name anyway. <laughs> he, I like he, it. he probably did. That's probably why he so likes he, it. He can actually like, I think when I was practicing, he was out there at like, cornerback yeah he can he can cover a little bit he almost had an interception too yeah him and jelani lewis are like really big players uh wyrick dicer is a two-way player yep and then granger is a possible two-way player if they need him at running back they're stacked at running back though right so we'll try to get him some like jabril peppers uh, action but we'll see it's gonna be hard because this team is just disgusting yeah look how many kick returners we have and they're all 90 plus. That's what we need to do. We need some kind of contest to determine who's going to be the kick returner. Oh yeah, like have a little tryout. Who wants their guy to be kick returner? But yeah, here's some gameplay for you guys. Again, this is using my logos, right? Yep. And then now we got the two different uniform sets. So right. to be honest with you, I don't even know. I don't even know who's going to win this I one. I don't either. I think they, they <laughs> both look pretty cool. I will say that we have Bishop as the starting quarterback currently, but there's a clear su uh, succession plan. Oh, forward. yeah, we didn't talk about that. Right. So, you know, if your guy is, is lower on the depth chart, he will be starting eventually. So there's no... I will say also we, we have different sliders right now, so that's why that these throws are a little off target. Yeah, um, we're actually using... And I, I can cover that in the introduction video, but we're using a lot more difficult set of sliders, something that makes the quarterback percentages a little bit lower. Uh, so it gives us more of a challenge, gives the CPU more of a challenge. Yeah. They're that we can actually stop a quoteback from going 28 of 31. Right. Here's Stoudemire throwing to Orquan Ostrander. I like that. I like that name. We Stout might have to redshirt him. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Stoudemire's, uh, he's... 
he's good, man. <laughs> he can he can run it, he can fling it, he can do it all. Yeah. He's more dynamic than uh, Bishop. But yeah, like you were saying, there's a succession plan, so isn't uh, Bishop's a senior, right? Yeah. So he gets one year. Stoudemire's Stoudemire. junior. Yep. Bajic, the sophomore, and then Joe Russell is a true freshman. Right, right. We might even be able to redshirt Russell. Yeah. But we'll see. And we got we got that same kind of plan. Go. Oh, look at that pick by Weirich Dyson. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He was going the other way. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Oh, man. But um, he was just crispy. Yeah. And, you know, named like Jacrispy, I'm thinking like kind of like the scat back thing. But he's, you know, I mean, he's out here making some catches, but he's he's a diminutive power back. Yes. So, so but uh, in regards to, and uh, you love to try to. Uh, I was trying to, yeah, I don't know. I love just seeing what happens. Didn't and work. then uh, here's Kerp. Wow. Good move. He's got some agility. Good stuff. Stoudemire's still in at QB. There's, um, oh, he got laid out that time. He says, don't go into the end zone like that again, boy. <laughs> what did I want to say? Uh, yeah, the succession plan, it even goes to running backs. So it's not just for quarterbacks only. So right. we, we did a, tried to balance out what you guys wanted and the guys that didn't specify what class they were we just use our best judgment to try to uh make sure that there were equal amounts of exposure in the uh in the dynasty so oh, what do we got oh here's mccoy oh, trying to hit. get into the end zone with some with some fake fake outs here we're let's gonna, try that again i got veg itch in there there's mccoy again and then another whoop oh they ran into each there other there you go <laughs> <laughs> there we go oh this guy's Did a little it. A little berry. Am I still running the same play? Yeah. I'm going a little different way. There's Wyrick Dicer playing in the slot. So This team's legit, guys. It's going to be really hard for uh, you or me to take care of business against them. Um, and, you know, we'll let you guys see it on the introduction video, the ratings for the other 11 teams. But, you know, oh, nice pass to Manuel. Yeah. So but I'm going to switch up and play defense. You guys can see some guys like Kennedy and throw here to Mitchell. There's Stevens. Can't make the tackle. I'm not pushing him out of Yeah, Rexford, Wyrick Dicer. I'm playing coverage with Dicer. This guy's pretty sick. Who's that, Manuel? Manuel. Yeah. I don't know if he caught, but I mean, I did like this spin move that I've never done before. With? With Manuel. I don't yeah. know if I didn't see it on, on this here, but. He made this like cut, and it was crazy. Yeah, it might have been one something that we weren't recording on yet. Yeah. We were still goofing off with the laterals. Yeah, I think I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but guys, the uh, the other eleven teams are gonna have a tough task against this squad. So, you know, we wanted to make this team really good, and here's a pick by Cedric Granger Ooh, to end stuff. end this run for the orange jerseys. And then now we'll uh, go ahead and check out the blues. All right. But yeah, you know, we tried to do that on purpose as number one, as a thank you and an apology to you guys. So you guys have always wanted a subscriber um, online dynasty, something that you and I aren't really uh, keen on. But then we also wanted to get your guys' uh, recruits in the game, which didn't happen for American and Mountain West. So as a way to apology, as an, to an apologize yeah yeah this is what we did so we made this team purposefully good really good and uh it's gonna be good for a long time and uh we're gonna have our our hands full for sure yeah i would say as of right now i mean we there's a few good teams in the conference you know 90 plus but this is probably the best team oh yeah for sure they're, they're like at least 85 on every position so there's no holes right they're the most complete team and you know you guys are used to us and our team alignments with overall and you know there's going to be a few teams in there that are kind of cupcakey they're, right. they're going to have to be the teams that get built up from the bottom up um some jokey teams in there a little bit too so that's just kind of our style you guys know that by now but uh yeah, and I will say too the 
I know a lot of guys requested equipment. Look so if you, if you don't, look at Sidemeyer. What? A money. Oh, dang. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Go ahead, sorry. Uh, I was going to say that I keep trying to roll out on this uh, well, design you're, play. You're trying to get Matthew Kennedy in here. Oh, I'm, I'm actually oh, this. I'm trying to have Stoudemire leap over that safety, but it's I gave up. It's not going to happen. So I was going to say the equipment. I mean, I, we can't do equipment until we get in the dynasty. So if you see your guy, he doesn't have the right specs. Is that what they call it? Specs. Yeah. What am I doing here? I don't know. I'm not real sure. I'm trying to make something out of nothing. Yeah. So we'll get the equipment right once we get into Dynasty as well. Yeah. Um, and also, 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 this video is supposed to also be used as we're supposed to have a vote for play style. Uh, good point. Yeah. yeah I'm running Oregon's playbook right now. If you guys want to do Oregon, you can do that. I'm thinking this team would look good with like Air Raid. But it, I don't know. Yeah, it might. It might. There were a couple requests to be. Uh, the head coach of the team, and which I think would be kind of cool. But if you wanted to be the head coach, just know that you're not going to have ultimate decision on the lineup. Just just know that. I mean, you would be a, basically you'd be a figurehead just to you know offer some comments, just to offer some like you know post game press release or something. That would be kind of cool for you to do if you're the head coach. We had like two requests. If you wanted to be the head coach let me know uh still i'm talking to like two specific people here because they put their request in first uh and if the guy that doesn't respond if there's only one dude that responds then the other guy may, might be an offensive coordinator maybe yeah, a defensive can, coordinator we can arrange something something like that but uh post it in the comments below what kind of offense and defense you guys want to see them run and then from there we'll we'll go ahead and go that route yeah. but there is a poll, so that's how we'll be tracking this yet again for the team vote for the colors, okay. for the jersey colors. So that's in the link in the description. So that's all we got for you guys today on this crappy, if you guys are from Michigan, this crappy, crappy. I think it's like this around the country. It's got to be. This All this snow, rain, cold, it's brutal, man. I can't even watch baseball today. All these games are postponed. But, uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. Hope you get enjoyed, and uh, leave a like if you did. And congratulations to Orange and Blue being the finalists. Purple was the odd one out. True. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I look forward to reading your guys' comments and your, and seeing the votes come through. So happy Saturday. Actually, happy Sunday. Today's not Saturday. We stayed up again all night the other night getting this stuff done. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.